What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Alonzo here. We're gonna get ready from the Hanzo Honey House to play a timeless classic, in my honest opinion. Your opinion may differ from mine. <clears throat> but, um, hey, everybody's got their thing, and since the official 2020 season's over for me, and the uh, fan that I have of the Oakland Athletics, um, we're going to play this game, and we're going to have fun with it, and I want you to come along for the ride, because it's going to be entertaining, to say the least. So here we go. So, we are going to start a season here. Now, generally speaking, this is an Oakland A's house, for those who are into American baseball. But, they're not very good in this game. It's very difficult to win with them. Honey's like, traitor. She's shaking her head at me, I know you can't see that, but that's what I'm explaining it to you. She's just like, why? Why? You should stick with your fan, your fandom, even though if they're good or bad. Is that, is that what you're trying to tell me, honey? Oh, oh, now, now she's got nothing to say, okay. Alright, alright. All right, talk me into it. I know, I know you're, you're virtually and figuratively twisting my arm over there, so... <laughs> all right, all right, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna start a new season. Then. We're gonna start a new season, and it's gonna be a new season. And for those keeping score at home, so the new divisional format where there's six divisions, three for each league was actually started at this point in time, 1994. That's why it's a proposed format in this game, but it's pretty general wherever else you go when it comes to playing this game, or playing MLB as a whole. Major League Baseball went ahead with it, and here we are. So, we're gonna start it up with the Oakland A's, and um, we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna do our best, see what we can do, Trying to keep the ball on the ground or what have you. So the cool thing about this game, which they took it out of later games, because I think King Griffey Jr. had, what, three baseball games total, I believe, I want to say. You can edit the names for the teams. They have default names that don't really mean much to do of anything. And, um, yeah. You can change them to meet the actual player names. Of course, they're like, uh, y'all can't do that anymore. But of course, you already did it in the old game, but we only can really catch you in the new game. Seems pretty fair. So, we're going to start it up with the 1993 Oakland Athletics. Now, generally speaking, I'm not gonna lie about it. Generally, I would be playing the Atlanta Braves in this game. Solid team, they can hit, they can pitch really well. They were a really dominant team at that point in baseball history. But to stay true to the fandom, we're going to go ahead and use the Oakland Athletics here. Um, I think we're gonna start with the old man of this bunch here. I think he ended up retiring like a couple seasons after this. And we're going to change our lineup a little bit just to put a little more speed in the lineup because, well, as you can kind of tell here, these these boys are not very uh, fast on their feet there. And um, we kind of we kind of need that. So what we're going to do take this guy and put him here, and then we're going to take Brent Gates here, and put Lance Blankenship in his place, Mike Bordick, you stay, Ruben Sierra, whatever happened to that guy, Big Mac Attack, you know who that guy is, you already know, Dave Henderson, he ended up retiring after this season, or something close to it. Um, do we want to keep him in there? Uh, 
got brocious, huh? Oh yeah, no, we don't want him at center field. That, that'd be that'd be bad. Um, and then Troy Neal as the DH. All right, we'll go ahead and save this lineup because that seems like a pretty straightforward lineup. All right, let's uh, get it going here. Starting up against the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Play ball. Mike Moore there was actually on the '89 team for the Oakland Athletics the last time they actually won a World Series in the real world. So of course they have the like last verse of the National Anthem playing in this game. And you're off to the races. Here we go. Tony Phillips is up first. He grounds out to second base for an easy 4-3 put out. Bobby Welch is trucking along. One out. Blue Whitaker. No sir, you... Grounded out to MacTac over there. Travis Fryman. Can I get him on one pitch? Sure. Fly up. Done deal. And that was a quick 1 2 3 inning. Old man Welch is putting in work. Mike Bordick's up for first uh, swing. Now, I'm really quick to tell you I'm not going to be one to rush it. I'm just going to wait it out. I will be that guy and say, I will wait till an 0 2 pitch. Before I swing the ball. Oh, come on! <laughs> and yeah, I might strike out a little bit, but I really want to not swing on the first pitch. Even though they do look pretty juicy sometimes. I'll maybe swing on this one right here. Let's see. Yeah, that's bad. This game, at the very least, you can mash and try to run faster. And then you try your best to not get thrown out. Ruben Sierra's up. Low ball. They usually throw that on 0-2 counts, and as you may notice, they throw a lot of fastballs the AI does. So, I'm thinking he's going to throw me another fastball right here. Well, yeah, see, that's a slow pitch. 0-2, I told you. They like doing that. So, 1-2-3 inning for the defense, the uh, visiting uh, Tigers. Welch back on the hill. Sets a fielder up, and he hits a first pitch home run. Now, the one thing about home runs in this game, while the computer made that look really easy, they are super rare. And when you hit a home run in this game, there is like minimal question it's going out. You know I'm going to hit this guy? It's Kirk Gibson for those keeping score. As an A's fan, you don't like seeing this man at all. I think he's like a coach for like the Arizona Diamondbacks or something right down the real world real time. But he hit that ill-fated game-winning home run in 1988. Some of you may not even know that, but you know maybe you like baseball and you know these things. But yeah, he was like on the DL and, and he had really had no business playing in that game. Uh, it was bad fielding on that guy's part. Okay, well, two on. And he really snuffed out an Eckersley slider, 3-2 slider on the outside part of the plate. He, he got just enough of it to put it over the fence and hit the game-winning home run for the first game of the 88 World Series, and they ended up sweeping the, uh, the A's. 4 nothing. the Dodgers did that year. And I think that was actually the last time they won a World Series as well. So... Little history for you. Hey. So just like that, they're up three nothing. We gotta stop the bleeding here. I'm not gonna be able to get that guy for second base. Oh, there we go, guys. We can just get this nice little ground ball there. We can we can recover. I think we can recoup that. With the home team, it's fine. McGuire is up for starters. Of course, it's a first pitch fastball. We know that. That's who the AI does. There's going to be another fastball here. I'm going to swing at this one. Oh, and he puts it in play. Well done. Well done. So, McGuire's on. No outs for Scott Brocious. Now, he is probably not going to do very well in this at bat. He might, though. This is another fastball. Saw that coming. That's a, that's a double play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's no good. Yeah, the one thing I do like about this game, it is fairly fast-paced. 
Um, so the innings just kind of truck along. There's no dragging. Uh, he's definitely not outrunning that. Not close, though. So, so far, one hit on two innings for the A's and a bunch of hits and three runs for the Detroit Tigers. Whitaker's back up again, and he grounds out. He's over two. He's probably going to be doing some late game trickery to try to get on base. Oh, right to the left fielder. Thank you for that. Travis Harmon's over two. Now, up comes Cecil Fielder. If I remember correctly, which you can correct me if I'm wrong, he hit a home run last night, bat. That started that ridiculous top half of the of the second inning there. And he's two for two. Base hit to the left fielder there, and um, Fielder's on. Now, he's not much of a base running threat, so I don't really have to worry about that so much. Neither is Kurt Gibson. He was rather for lack of a better word, washed up at that point. Sorry, I had to say it. Um, Alright, Terry Steinbach's up. He's another classic Oakland Athletic who was on the team for quite a while after they won that World Series in 89. And he's up. Okay, so Mike Andretti's up, and someone's got to get something going here. Let me just kind of ride the outside part of this box here and see... Oh, that's a fly ball. That might drop. There we go. Okay, okay. That's looking good. So the funny thing about this, the leadoffs are using the X and the A button. Um, and you have to swap bases by hitting the L and R to uh, get to your other runners. So in order for you to have a good lead with all your runners, yeah, I'm a little sad about that too, sir. Um, to have a good lead off with all your runners if your bases are juiced. Um, wow, Cecil Fielder never did that in real life. Um, he is uh, not. He's he's a big. He was a big dude. He was super a not athletic, so that's very unrealistic. That's how great this game is. Makes everybody look good. Um. I had a tangent going. What was I talking about? I was talking about something. Anyway, no, it's fine. It'll it'll come back to me. But anyway, yeah, Cecil Fielder, he was not very athletic at all. He was a big dude, he can hit the the ball really hard, and he is also the father of Prince Fielder, who unfortunately had to retire early because of like uh injury. Um who also could hit the ball a mile and a half. Uh played first base just like his dad did. And, uh, but yeah, that jumping catch by Fielder, no, he would have never done that in real life. Like, at all, at all. Lance Blankenship here. Not swinging on that uh, that fastball, first pitch fastball. We'll swing on this one. Oof. That off to the stands, huh? Okay, okay. Alright. What about this one right here? Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. I think he swung with, like, no conviction whatsoever. He's kind of like, uh, I don't know what to do. Sierra's like, you know, I'm not waiting around. I'm not waiting around. I, I, I want to take my hack and go back to the dugout. This is bad already. McGuire's like, we still have a chance, guys. It's okay, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. Not like that, though. Definitely not like that. Top of the fifth inning, um, Welch has kind of settled in a little bit. He hasn't really given up too much damage since that third inning meltdown, so to speak. Okay. Phillips is, I believe he said over two. I don't think Max got that one. Eh, eh, nope, nope, foul ball. Um, let's try this here. A little, a little off speed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Over two. Whitaker. The Whitaker flies out again. Now he's over three. Poor guy can't catch a break. Thankfully, he can't catch a break. They already have six hits on the game, so we need to actually do some damage here. We need to do something. Right to Fielder, who is just playing in the right spot, apparently. So that's why you don't really want to swing on the first pitch. Not because it didn't look good to swing at. You're just giving them an advantage. The fact that you're not even making them work to get the out 
isn't helping your situation. You want them to work to get that out. So it's like swinging on the first pitch and you ground out. That's like, oh man, that's a perfect scenario for the defense. They love that sort of thing. But this guy, I want him to work for the fact that he is throwing these pitches at me. So now he's up to like five pitches now. Is he going to throw me a slow one? Nope. That's okay. He threw five pitches that time for that ground out versus one. You gotta, you gotta play the system for what it's worth. Especially when you know the AI is gonna want to throw a lot of fastballs. Oh, good, good defense down there at third base. Well done. I think that was Armius, I believe it was. Cecil Fielder's up. Let me just try to cheese him a little bit. The AI loves that sort of thing. He's gonna probably do it again, huh? Oh, he got, he got smart that time. But notice he was very slow getting there to first base, so it all worked out for everybody. Gibson is up. Gibson hits one right on the line, and Sierra's right there to get that snag. Thank you, sir. Bottom of the sixth inning. Still posting a goose egg. Green and gold need to come up with something good here. Yeah, I'm going to swing at that. Why not? I'm not going to just give that a chance. I'm, I'm going for two. This is the best opportunity we have to get something good. Okay, we got that. I think that's the second hit for Andretti, I believe it is. Now, it makes me want to think, is it Armaz? Is it Armius? Armaz? Hmm. Okay, well. He hits a ground ball into the outfield, so now runners at the corners here. So I'm going to try to eliminate the ground, like the double play here. So I'm going to have him take a big lead and then have him take a short lead over there. Because that ball is going right ex exactly where I thought it was going to go. But that puts one on the board and Bordick actually puffed it out. So that was a fielder's choice with an RBI there. Blanken ships up. And um, I think he's going to be able to get something going. Nope, right to the pitcher. And that was a double play. Ah, that hurts just a little bit. But at least we got one on the board. That makes it a little bit more tolerable. Eric Davis is up, and he hits a mile-long foul ball. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, Ooh, look at that. I think that was a Bordic Plains shortstop right there. Well done. Uh, Mickey Tilton is probably not doing anything. Not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Alan Trammell's up. And he hits another one right to Blankenship and to the Mac attack there for the out. No damage at the top of seven. And let's uh, take me out to the ballgame set. For the seventh inning stretch. All right, we're back at it. Yeah, this guy's pitching a good game. He plays like not even worry about nothing. Now, is that going to drop? I think so. Right into that guy's glove. Well done. Come on, McGuire. Do something. Do something. You're like the, the biggest dude on this team. Do something. That's not doing something. That's doing exactly the opposite. It, 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 it was something. It wasn't a good thing, though. You are correct. Honey. Well done. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Huh? No, but I said well done. Ooh, that's going to go. Okay. Um, nope, 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 nope. Don't do it. Okay, so now he's getting a little tired there. If I swung at every first pitch up to this point, he'd still probably be not huffing right now. So this is a good sign. That, that's so not going where I want to go. Are there two outs? No, I think it's only one. That's two outs. Dang. Ding dang. Alright, so top of eight. Welch is still in there. Still feeling pretty good about himself, even though he's given up three runs. It's giving us a solid outing. The one thing that I find kind of interesting about this game, even though 
there's a statistic for it in terms of the box score for errors. I think I've only seen an error happen in this game once. Like, legit, one time. He, could, he couldn't catch the ball and he dropped it. Any other time, I've never seen anybody drop a ball in this game. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that's right on the line. That hurts. Whitaker finally got his hit. What was that? Phillips. No, no, it was Whitaker. He finally got his hit. I told you, late game shenanigans. What? How did he even hit that? And the other thing about this game I've never really seen is injuries. Now, I did find one instance way back in the day when I was playing this that if you use a relief pitcher to pitch the game for like, I don't know, maybe like longer than six or seven innings maybe, he didn't come back for like a good two and a half weeks. So I always consider that an injury, in my honest opinion. Normally, when you use your relief pitcher, they show up the next day ready to pitch. But this guy, like quite literally, it was like two or three weeks, he did not even was not even available for that long. Oops, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize it was two strikes. Um, but yeah, like any otherwise, you know, in other newer baseball games, there's injuries and you sprain an ankle or you throw your shoulder out, that sort of thing. Uh, but in these older games, yeah, they never really had that. So maybe it's an unofficial thing that there are injuries like that? Oh, he's over here giving them the business. Three foul balls. Okay, okay. He's not going down without a fight. I like that. Let's go. Okay, that's going right into his glove, though. Okay, well, he needs to look good on paper. Yeah, Bobby Welch is still looking pretty cool and calm and collected. He's an OG of the bunch here. Oh, I'll get there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, Kirk Gibson. We don't want to give him anything. So he's a total scrub. Oh, and he got that thing. I almost threw him out at first, but that's all right, though. Watch this. Double play ball right here. Okay, no, that's not a double play ball at all. Oh, but that hit the fence. Caught a break there. Caught a real big break there. Okay. Okay. Alright. 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 Um, no. Okay. No, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay, now he's huffing. Now he's huffing. Let's, let's try to finesse him a little bit. Can I, can I get a little finesse? Thank you. Can I throw another one that slowly? He won't hit it. No. But... We'll get that double play finally. Yes! Okay, now we're down to our last three outs. We need three runs here to win this game. It might happen. You never know until you try, right? Okay. Okay, that's a good sign. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Thought that was going to drop. It looked good, you know. Okay, good, good. We're gonna swing on this one. Give him the business on this one. Oh. Oh man, that was uh, the bait. They throw so many fastballs that you expect fastball like 97% of the time. So when they don't throw a fastball, it's blatantly obvious. Down to our last out here, Ruben Sierra's up. Um, I don't think he's really done anything all game. He may have gotten one hit, I can't remember. What? That was called a strike? That's the ball game, folks. He's not going to outrun that. And there you have it. The A's lost there, three to one against the Tigers. It's the start of the series, and you know, it dims the break sometime. You lose a lot of games. You win a bunch of games. You know. So the funny thing about this is it has this newspaper article explaining the game. And there's always a funny little bit over here. Twins ace may uh, twins ace may start miss a start due to a score elbow. So that's literally the only figurative in in uh, injuries you're gonna hear about in this game. So here's our box score. Mike Bordick had our only run, and 
Andretti had two hits. McGuire had a hit. Burgess had a hit. Neil Steinbach, Sierra, Blankenship, and Bordick himself, because that was a fielder's choice, technically got no hit. On the other side, Cecil Fielder had that home run. And everybody but Tony Phillips and who else was there? Mike Trammell. Or Alan Trammell, rather. Didn't get a hit. So, there's that. And then it gives you the scores around the league to let you know what's been going on for um, the rest of the league, you know? Everybody's trying to win a pennant. You know, everybody wants to win a championship. So it's good to keep tabs on this sort of thing. 